Okay, so today we are going to make um, brown rice bowls, which are really super easy to make and use a lot of fresh ingredients and very little cooking. The only thing you have to cook is the rice and the eggs. So um, what I've already done is I've already made the brown rice. Of course, you can use white rice if that's what you have, but brown rice has you know more nutrients in it. And the easy way to make brown rice is you just do one cup of rice for two cups of water. You put it right into a saucepan, bring it to a vigorous boil, and turn it way down and let it go for about half an hour. And just kind of forget about it while you get everything else ready. So we've got the brown rice already done. And the other things that um, you can have on hand are any kind of fresh vegetables. Since we're doing an Asian brown rice bowl, we're, we have some bok choy and some scallions and some carrots and a little broccoli and some frozen peas. Um, and But you know, anything that you have at home would work. You could also look in your into your canned goods and find like water chestnuts maybe, things like that that you might have. Um, then we need on hand some oil to cook the eggs, some eggs, and then we have some various ingredients over here that we can use to make different sauces. So we're, we'll be making two different Asian sauces to try. One is just a simple Chinese kind of one and the other is a Thai peanut. What we have to do is um, we're just gonna chop up the veggies real fast and get those going. So this would be like while your rice is cooking, you've got your rice on. This is bok choy. Bok choy is one of my favorites. It's so mild. It's in the cabbage family, but super mild. It's pretty cheap and it's really good both raw and cooked. So we're gonna chop, because we're not gonna be cooking these things, we'll chop them pretty fine. And what we do with our brown rice bowl is we, um, we put the, when we're serving it, we put the warm rice into a bowl. We put a whole bunch of fresh chopped ingredients on top. Then we put on protein. And the protein, in this case, it's going to be um, eggs, but it could also be any kind of meat. So like chicken, pork, beef, it could be tofu, or it could be like chickpeas, some kind of legumes, some kind of beans. All right, so we've got this pretty finely chopped. So we don't want huge chunks because we're not cooking this. So the smaller we chop it, the easier it is to get into our bowl and onto our fork for this. There we go. We're chopping up the bok choy. We've got that done. And next up is going to be some carrots. And we just got these carrots from the, the Williamsburg Farmer's Market, which is um, doing online ordering right now. And we're even gonna use some of these super fresh carrot tops because these were literally picked just a few days ago. And this will add a nice little carroty zing. Some carrot tops. Maybe we'll put that in a separate bowl in case not everybody wants a carrot top. Okay. And then we need a bowl here. Let's make a bowl to collect our compost because we have a compost pile too. All right. So we've got some peas. That's easy. Just put some of those in a bowl. Got our carrot tops. Some frozen peas. We'll just kind of let those melt a little bit. And when we put them with the warm rice and the warm egg, they should be good. Okay, so I've got a little teeny bit of broccoli. We don't have much broccoli, so my family didn't want me to use all the broccoli, so I'm using just this little bit. And everybody can have a sprinkle. Chop that up fine. Let's stick that in a bowl. Okay. Okay, so we've got a little bit of broccoli. And, um, the scallions. So the scallions are, we're gonna use, well, some of that'll be to sprinkle on, and some of this will be to flavor the oil when we, when we do the eggs. If you don't have scallions, you can use onion, or you can just use some onion powder in your eggs, or you could just skip this whole entire thing. And what I do is I save the scallion roots because we can plant those right into the garden. And usually I, I sit them in a bit of water for a few days and, and they start to, start to kind of sprout a new little scallion. 
and then you can plant it outside and you'll get more scallions. Here, we'll get into making the sauces now. If you happen to have ginger, you can chop a little bit of ginger for your sauces. Um, if not, you can use powdered ginger, of course. So ginger root or powdered ginger. Okay. All right. So here's some ginger. So let's take a look at what we got so far. We've got the ginger, that's for the sauces. Um, we've got the carrots chopped up. We've got a little teeny bit of broccoli. We've got our frozen peas. We have our a little bit of really fresh carrot tops. And we have some scallions, which are going to be used for both cooking and raw. We want to make two quick sauces. One is simply a, um, I don't know, it's sort of like a dumpling, like a Chinese dumpling dipping sauce kind of thing. And I'm not going to do any measurements here. I'm just going to put in some soy sauce. Okay, so there's some soy sauce. All right, and we're going to put in a teeny amount of vinegar. Um, this one just gonna make so I don't spill too much. I'll just get a spoon out. You, if you have rice wine vinegar, that would be better. But this is apple cider vinegar, which is okay too. And we'll just put in a little bit of that. Okay, and then we're going to put in a little bit of the ginger. Some flavor. That. And if you don't have that, you can use powdered ginger or no ginger. And then we have some, uh, we're kind of running out, but we've got some toasted sesame oil, which makes it taste really nice. But if you don't have that, no problem. So we're just going to put a little bit of that in there. I have the secret ingredient, um, which is a little bit of sugar. So just like a little, maybe half teaspoon or less of sugar goes in. And that's a basic little dipping sauce. So that's like a super basic Asian sauce that we have. All right, so that's one option. Okay. The other option is a Thai peanut sauce. So for this one, we're gonna use some peanut butter. This will add some protein too. So we'll get some peanut butter in there. I'm making enough for um, five people right now, so I don't want to make, I mean, if you make extra sauce, you can keep it a week, so no problem. So we're going to add some of that. Let's say we add like a tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari sauce or um, like coconut aminos and things like that can work as well. Okay, we need, um, for this, lime would be perfect. If we don't have lime, we could use lemon, we could use bottled lemon juice, um, or vinegar. So just something a little bit acidic. So we're just going to put in a little bit of lemon. So maybe about a tablespoon or so of lemon or lime. The recipe is actually for lime. Okay. And then we get to add some something a little bit spicy if we want to. So we've got this um, chili sauce we're going to try. It's an Asian chili sauce, but if you don't have that, you could use anything like maybe crushed red pepper or even just like a hot sauce or nothing if you don't like hot. So we'll just use a little teeny bit of this and then like about that much. We'll have to adjust the flavor to how we like that. And then we've got the rest of our ginger here, which we cut up before. Great. So that is... This is our basic peanut sauce. That's the peanut butter, um, soy sauce, and then it has something spicy and something acidic in there. And then you can add the ginger if you want. You can you can taste it and adjust it and see if it needs any sugar or salt. Let's thin it with a little water so it's so it can it's easier to spread. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two eggs per person. So I'm going to do 10 eggs. There's the eggs. All right. Now, what do we add to the eggs? We're going to add a little bit of soy sauce. 
right to the egg. Maybe like a teaspoon-ish. Um, we are going to add a little bit of our very precious toasted sesame oil. If you don't have soy sauce, you can just use salt. Actually, some people just make this with salt and not the soy sauce at all. Sesame oil is optional. We're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil for flavor. Okay, that's it. This is so simple. And this will add the protein. So instead of eggs, of course, you could use, you could just um, stir fry up some chicken or any kind of meat, um, or you could use tofu, that would be great, or um, chickpeas, any kind of beans would work for protein. To add a little protein to your meal. Okay, good enough. Okay, so we are now ready to go ahead and move over to the stove. Okay, so here we are over at the stove doing the last step. We're gonna add some oil to this pan. We have to be a little generous with the oil. We really don't want this whole thing to stick. Um, this is peanut oil, but you can use anything. And we'll let that heat up a little bit. And actually what we're gonna do is, so the scallions that we, that we chopped up before for our garnish, we're gonna put about like half of them in this oil. And that's gonna flavor the oil and give the eggs a really nice flavor. So there we go. And then, so what we do is we just saute these scallions a little bit, and then we actually remove them from the oil when they get done. So this, we'll probably saute them for like about, I don't know, a minute or two. So now I'm just going to remove most of these scallions. Spread the oil around and put in these eggs. I think I'm gonna lift it up and let some of it get down in there. Before I flip it. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, it's going to be in two pieces. That's okay. You see, it looks all golden brown. It's got that scallion flavor. Some other nice Asian flavors in there. Okay. Let's see if this piece doesn't look kind of cooked on that side. So now we're going to just transfer these to this plate here. Real fast. Heat. Right, that is it for eggs. Here is we're just going to chop up the egg into little chunks for serving, and we are ready to eat our delicious brown rice bowls. Okay, so what do we have? We've got, let's go ahead and serve. So I'm going to take a scoop of brown rice, put it in my little bowl. All right, then I'm going to put in whatever veggies I like from over here. Hmm, I wonder which sauce I should go for. I love bok choy, so I'm going for the bok choy here. See, a little bit of scallions, a little teeny bit of broccoli, the precious broccoli, oops, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of carrot tops, a little bit of frozen peas, okay, then, so now I've got all my raw veggies in there, and what I do now is I put on some of this nice warm protein, which kind of helps to sort of wilt, I guess, the, the top veggies. Get my eggs here. 
great. There's my eggs. Okay. And now I think I'll go for the peanut sauce. Why not? So I'll just get some peanut sauce and put it on. And that's it. That's my brown rice bowl. It's so simple and easy. There it is. Yeah. And the amazing thing is that you can actually make these brown rice, rice bowls with different nationalities of food too. So you could make a Mexican one where you're using like tomatoes, peppers, lettuce, things like that. And then you could put ground beef on top or diced chicken or beans with, and your sauces would be sour cream and salsa and things like that. So you can, you can change this up and make it any way you want. So great. Thank you so much for watching and hope, hope you have a healthy meal in your future. <laughs>